first and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory unto the Musa Yahweh Baasham Yahweh Shai, Baasham Roka Kodash, which is the name of the Father, who the world ignorant, he called God, and the name of his Son, right, who the world ignorant, he called Jesus. Baasham Roka Kodash is in the name of the Holy Spirit or Spirit Holy in the ancient Paleo Hebrew or Phoenician language, right, for those who like to get technical, right. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach this word for many years in sincerity and truth. Right? Who teach this word in, for many years in sincerity and truth. Right? Shalom. Right? To the brothers or the Akiam who also push in the word. This lesson going on be going into Know ye what is baptism and the Most High is merciful. The Most High, the most high is real merciful. Because some of us, right, don't even know what is real baptism. I once was just in a state like that, I didn't know what it is. But the knowledge that the most I impart upon me, I will impart upon my Israelite brothers and sisters. And when I say Israelite, I'm talking about the, the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, right? So-called Native Indian Americans, Caravan Arawaks, right? Who make up the 12 tribe of Israel, right? southern and northern tribe right now the first scripture we're going into is the book of matthew chapter 3 verse we'll start from verse 11 right this is when yahweh shy who the world ignorant called jesus went to be baptized of john and here it goes i indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that cometh after me is mightier than i whose shoes i am not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the holy spirit and with fire so one time john pointing out you see the man who coming after me i just baptize him with water right which was never able to really take away the sin but yahweh shai yahweh shai going and come and baptize him with the holy spirit right and with fire so now we're supposed to do take some gas and go and light somebody a fire no, the scripture was being speaking parabolically. Right? The scripture was telling you something in a parable. The scripture was going to say, Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge, purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner. And his wheat is the, the lost sheep. Of the, 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 he said, I come not but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel because all of them make up the full basket, well, fully basket. The basket symbolizing the house of Israel. Right? Scripture going to say, but he will burn up the, the chaff with unquenchable fire. Now, the chaff symbolizing in this time right now, coming into we're going to symbolizing the Israelites and them who. The tutors who are refusing to take heed to the word and all the other people and them on the face of the earth who don't want to follow after righteousness because hey, so for some reason they just don't like, you know, that hey, a man supposed to be with a man, they don't like our woman. Hey, so like, yeah, a man supposed to be with a woman, right? A man not supposed to be with a man and a woman not supposed to be with a woman, right? So, all the people and them who don't want to you know sit down and take in and, and say well hey that making sense he say he will burn them up with unquenchable fire right but we're going on the scripture go on to say then cometh Yahweh shy from galilee unto jordan unto john to be baptized of him right but john forbid him saying i have need to be baptized of thee right and comes thou to me so john say hey is you supposed to baptize me with your baptism? Why are you coming for me to baptize you with my baptism? Right? So now, here we are, I turn around and say, and here I answer and said, Suffer it to be so now. Yeah, here we say, Suffer it to be so now, subject and verb agreement. Because the Shai didn't have no need to be baptized of John, but to fulfill the prophecy, he says, Suffer it to be so. Because it was already prophesied that, you know, John the Baptist would have to ba baptize so-called Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai. So here we say, right? 
I'm reading back from verse 14. But John forbid him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and thou comest, and comest thou to me. And Yahushua answered and said, Suffer it to be so now, for this is becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Right? Then he suffered him. Right? So you see what the scripture is saying here? It was just Yahushua just received the baptism of John to fulfill the prophecy that was prophesied. In. Because he, John, clearly stated that, hey, I had need to be baptized of you. Why are you coming to be baptized of me? Why well, Yahushua yeah, say, hey, suffer to be so now. The, the scripture say it plain out. But why people just want to fight on them petty points and them have more important things at hand? The mark of the beast, the microchip, the famine, pestilence going on becoming. You know, we have more important things to sort out. But just for edification sake, I bring out this lesson. You know, so the, so the, 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 the lost sheep of the house of Israel and, the, and all the brothers and them, you know, could contribute, you know, to, to tear down some of them strongholds that, that hold it down our people. In the next scripture I'm going to is the book of Matthew chapter 23, verse 25. And here what it say. Matthew chapter 23, verse 25. Right? And here what it say. Bam, 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 bam. Behold, I have told you for uh, 25, right? So, like, Matthew chapter 23, verse 25. Who woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and, ex and excess, right? So, you see. Yahushua turn around and tell them, hey, all they make it clean the outward parts, the outer of, 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 the, of the cup. The cup symbolizing you, that the water is supposed to wash. When the water is going to you, which is the word, which are going and going to, the water is going into the cup and the cup is supposed to become clean. But them taking the water and washing the outward part because they are making it a carnal thing. Right? The scripture is going to say, thou build, thou, thou, Thou blind Pharisees, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that thou outside of, of them may be clean also. So you see the scripture clearly telling you, hey, the water that John used to baptize you, you only used to just wash your skin, that ain't doing nothing for you. Now we're going into the book of um, John 15 and 3. We will bring out the clarification on these points because these are things that strongholds are holding down our people. This is the book of John 15 and 3. Right? Say in John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So you see how you're going to be clean? Through the word. I'm going to a scripture now in the book of Psalms 119 and 5. Because we go see what our word is. Right? Psalms chapter 119 verse 5 and here what it's saying here right verse 9 Chap Psalm chapter um, 119 verse 9 and here what it's saying wherewith shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed therefore according to thy word I'm going back to, to the John 15 and, 5 and 3 now now you are clean right through the word that I have spoken unto you. So you see? It's the word of the most I wish does baptize it. That you have to submerge yourself in the word. Wash yourself with the word of the most high. Add up your life and take away, take a chisel and chisel out all the all the pieces. You know? That that not lining up with the word and wash yourself with the word. Submerge yourself with the word. Right? Now if you go back in, in the book of Matthew. Right? If you go back in the book of Matthew, chapter um, just now, let me get the scripture. I believe it's um, right, Matthew chapter 20, 20 verse. Verse 